Welcome to the next part. So in this part we're basically going to be trying to get the texture of the player that we're actually creating onto the model that we've already made. So um, I'll start Blender and we'll get the model set up. So obviously I last time I separated the model and then exported it all so I've got another copy that I can import now. So import the face, import the hair and import the XML. Deselect hair underscore zero as usual and then join the two halves together, creating one object. So what we need to do is basically edit this texture, which is obviously Neymar at the moment. You can see what it looks like. Um, and how we'll do that is, first of all, we've got to actually unlock the texture, because um, currently it's a DDS file, which is actually a protected file format. So if we decompress that, by using this little tool here called multi unzed lib. If you actually Google for that, it should come up as the top result. Um, so yeah, just go and grab that. It's a very, very small download. I think it's like 20 kilobytes or something. So grab that and then basically drag and drop. Oh, sorry, I just dragged and dropped the wrong thing there. Uh, drag and drop face.dds onto that square. And that gives you an unzed lib underscore face.dds. So basically we need to open that in Photoshop, load using the default size, that's absolutely fine. Uh, we can close this now. Um, and then that gives you Neymar's face that you can now play around with. So the next thing to do is to go into Blender and we need to basically apply the photograph that we were using as our background reference point onto the model. So, if you go to edit mode, and then make sure you've got all the points selected by using letter A on the keyboard. And I'll just switch on the screencast again so you guys can see what I'm pressing. So that's A. That selects all. And then go to this little tab up here, and then add a new UV map. And just call it something that you're going to recognize, like front, because we're obviously going to be using a front photo. And then open a new image. Um, so this is the image that we're actually going to use to texture map our model. So if I open an image, and I want to go to my folder with all my images and reference images of this player, this is the reference image that we used, frontview.jpg. So we'll import that. Now, what the program's done is it's taken the size of the photo and stretched the current UVW mapping to the uh, the size of the new image. Now, obviously, that's not going to work. As you can see here, the eyes are all stretched over the face and it looks crazy. Um, the way to get around this is to press U on your keyboard with the vertexes selected and then project from view. Make sure your mouse pointer is on this viewport. So you project from view. And then that will give you a much more recognizable face that you can play with. Basically, it takes this mesh and just sticks it straight over as it is in that viewport, which is exactly what we want. So if we scale that up now, so the ears are basically touching each side, which is what they do on the photo. And then that's using S and then press G to move the model in place. And then we can zoom in, we can have a close look and check that things are in the right place. The mouth looks correct. The nose looks correct. The eyes look about right. Perhaps we need to scale it down a tiny bit. We'll try that. So the mouth is still looking good, the nose is still looking good, and the eyes are looking better now. Obviously the eyebrows are okay, the ears are okay, forehead's working fine. So, that's pretty good. So what we need to do now is we can have a very quick preview of what he's going to look like by clicking back to object mode. And as you can see, straight away, it looks a lot better. It's not perfect because there's going to be some stretching and warping, but that will all be removed later when we uh, do some more texture editing in Photoshop.
and it doesn't look like Neymar anymore. Um, so the next thing we have to do is um, go back to your old UVW map, um, go on to Texture Paint, and we'll get this side menu out by clicking that. We'll move back to the front view again by pressing 1, and in this side menu we'll choose F Clone as your brush, which basically is a clone brush. Uh, we'll increase the radius and the strength of the brush, so because we're only working in very large areas at the moment. And the clever bit is basically choosing to stencil from onto the UV map and to clone from the front view. And what this will do is it will apply the texture from the front view um, onto the UV mapping of the original texture. And it's as simple as just brushing over. You can rotate the model. Just make sure you've got all the nooks and crannies. Okay, so that's a pretty good start. So don't worry about any of these parts. They're very, very easy to fix. Um, so the next thing to do is to save this, uh, this new mapping. So if I go back to face.dds, all of a sudden it doesn't look like Neymar. This was the original Neymar texture, and now it's got Marshall's texture mapped over it. So what we need to do is save that as an image into this folder here as a PNG and just call it face front. Let's save it over that. So that's the um, last bit from this stage. Actually before I do go, um, what I will tell you to do next um, is basically to close this because you don't want to save anything that you've just done. Your model is still exactly the same as it ever was. The only thing that you've done is mess around with the UV stuff, which you don't really want to do generally. Um, it can sometimes corrupt things. So basically what I do at this point is to close Blender. All right, so now that we've got the uh, PNG exported from Blender, the next thing to do is to open that into Photoshop. So if we go to where I saved that, which is here, so this is the PNG that we had, and then drop that onto Photoshop. Uh, the next thing to do is to copy this layer and paste it onto um, the face DDS. Um, that's just done using Control C, Control V, and um, to Basically create a texture that will give us a better idea of actually what he's going to finally look like. We need to start erasing some of <coughs> some of this back to the old layer. And you see what I mean in a sec. So what I've done is I've created a layer mask on the um, on this layer using this command here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is with a soft brush, so low hardness, um, reasonably large um, and fully opaque. I'm going to just delete off the areas which look completely wrong. Now this isn't going to be correct, um, this is just to give us a better idea of what he's going to look like and just so we can actually preview the uh, model in game and actually get a good idea of what he's going to look like. So. Let's just remove some of these elements and I'm just very quickly going to create a layer adjustment layer on this to get Neymar's skin to be a more appropriate color um, for the, the, up, the for the layer above so if we just do that um, and then lower the opacity up so slightly of that. You can see that matches a little better. Um, 
I'm not doing any of this properly at the moment, it's literally just for um, a tester. So um, now what we need to do is save this as the phase DDS. Um, so choose D3D slash DDS as your output format and then simply save it over the face .dds. Um, use dxt5 and everything else should be left as is, just default. Um, so save that. And the next thing we can do is quickly reopen Blender to check that that's all saved correctly before we actually go into PES to check. Um, so we need to go there and we need to import the face. So import face import hair. And there we have it, it's looking better already. I mean obviously there shouldn't be a beard here but this is just a very rough texture just to uh, check that it's working okay. Um, so the next stage is going to be to sort out the mouth and the eyes um, on the model because if they're in the wrong place then it can look kind of funny. So um, I'm just going to take a very quick break and then I'll come back and sort those out before we preview him in game. Um, this is basically the last um, stage before we get onto the main texture work. So before I get on to um, sorting out the eyes and the mouth, um, what I'm going to do is quickly save the um, Photoshop file as a Photoshop file. Um, it's very, very handy to have a layered version of what you're working on, um, so you can go back and make changes. I tend to use Photoshop in a very non-destructive way, so I create lots of layers, I apply any colour um, color changes, hue saturations, levels, brightness contrast, anything of that sort as adjustment layers, so I can always switch them on and off, um, you know, because if, if you do it on that and then go 10 stages down the line, you can't undo 10 stages, it's a problem. So I tend to work in lots and lots of layers. So I've saved that now as a PSD, I'm going to close those and I'm going to close Photoshop. Um, so, as I was saying, the next thing to do is the eyes and the mouth position, the teeth position. Um, so, the way to do that is to go on to Edit Mode and to deselect all, um, all vertexes. Let me just start the screencast again. Um, so, that's done using A again, um, and then if you press B, you get this, which basically means you can drag and select that single point. Now you have to do it that way, um, and, and as you can see it's selected the eyes and it's selected the eyelashes. Uh, the next thing to do is go up to this tab, the materials tab, and choose matte underscore hide, and basically this applies a transparent texture um, to those particular elements, um, so you can assign that. And as you can see, he's now got hollow eyes. Creepy. So the next thing to do is to uh, press Shift. So hold down Shift on your keyboard and select this little dot down here. Now as you can see, the eyes are in a very wrong place. In fact, I think we need to load in the base XML. Yeah. So you can see how the base XML actually controls things. Um, it basically controls the position of the eyes, the scale of the eyes, so we can scale those up and they get huge. Scale them back. Um, and it also controls the position of the mouth as well. So if we turn this to wireframe view, you can see this element here, mouth, is the teeth. Um, they're in approximately the right place. So I'm going to leave them where they are. And if we go back to texture mode, we can see the eyes. I'm pretty happy with the position of these. What I may do is move this one down slightly, and across ever so slightly, and check the position from this point of view. Now that's about right. Check it on the other side. Again, that looks about right. A lot of this depends on how much editing you've had to do on the eyes to get them looking correct. Um, obviously, there was some on this, um, and I have actually already moved the eyes somewhat. Um, 
in some of the editing that I haven't recorded, but um, you can see there that that's the way you do it. Just make sure that when you edit the eyes, that they sit behind this mesh element here. So, you know, for the sake of this, what I'm going to do is just move it back a little bit. I think that's probably good enough. So, I'm pretty happy with the position of those eyes. It's starting to look a lot more human. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is export that XML. So that's set the position of the eyes and the teeth. I haven't made any other changes to the model, so I'm not going to export the face and I'm not going to export the hair. Um, so I'm going to close this now and we can have a quick preview of him in game. So here we are in uh, edit mode of PES. So we'll go to edit player and we'll just find Marshall very quickly. So he plays in Monaco and he is right at the bottom here. And there he is. He's looking pretty good. Um, his skin is obviously still white. Um, that is, needs to be changed with the config.txt. That alt will, will be discussed probably in the very final part. It's not something that I worry about until the very end. Um, so if we have a closer look at the face. You can see it's looking pretty good. Um, there's a lot of texture editing that still needs to happen. Um, but the eyes look like they're in the right place. Um, you know, the texture's generally looking pretty good. So now if we head into the game, um, you can actually see what it looks like on the replay. So I'm uh, setting up a match here between Monaco and um, Lyon. So um, obviously make sure that um, the player that you want to test is actually in the squad. Um, that would help. So there he is. So we'll just sub him in for Rodriguez. It doesn't really matter where he is. In fact, it's probably a good idea to put him in the side that's in shadow because it's much easier to test what he looks like when he's in shadow. So I'm just going to kick off based on those settings. And I'll see you in a sec um, once we've got a bit of replay data. So here he is in game. Um, obviously, I've used the uh, trigger buttons to select Martial as the player that I want to view. Um, this is currently the sort of default replay camera. If I was to press uh, A on my Xbox controller, I get a closer view. As you can see, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to use the thumbstick now to just scrub through the replay, just check that the eyes are working okay, and they seem to be. And hopefully at some point he'll open his mouth so we can see if that's working. Oh, his mouth has been opened there a little. So you can see the position of the teeth are about right. You know, we may want to mess around with them a little more, but they're about in the right position. So, I'm pretty happy with that really. Um, as I said, the next stage is going to be to uh, edit the texture. Um, and after I've edited the texture a little more, I'm actually going to go back in and do some more modeling based on some more reference photos, just to check that we can iron out any mistakes and neutralize um, any uh, expression that he has on his face. So, I'll see you next time for the next part. Thanks guys.